first of all, uh, if I don't have people around me that I, uh, if I don't love them, um, then there's going to be an issue. If I don't have covenantal relationships with my colleagues, then there's going to be an issue. And the research is very clear that when people are older, when they reflect back on their organizational experiences or their faculty experiences, mm -hmm. it's about the number of people that they felt connected to. And so the question is, is that is it permissible in your organization to form those kinds of relationships? Mm -hmm. So that's one of the questions. The other question is, is um, I mean, I have students ask all the time, if I go to a particular organization, I know that I can't be myself for at least 15 years. Well, then I'm, I'm delighted that they're self-aware around that. But the question then is, is that what kind of an environment has a leader created where they don't believe that the leader actually create, cares about the development? Mm -hmm. See, th this is my frustration with leaders. I don't think they actually listen. I don't think, I think they manage their images more than they do their essence. Yeah, there's always exceptions, but in general, they're managing their lifestyle and not when they ask the question, how are you and how can I help? I'm not convinced that they're really listening. I think they're more interested in what's that person gonna think of me if I ask these questions. The reason I believe that leaders don't see themselves as teachers is that it takes time to stop and actually show interest in another human being. It slows everything down. I clearly didn't wanna slow down much when I'm with my mom, but that's the way the connection piece happens. And that's, you know, you'll know very quickly uh, when you walk into an organization, whether they actually support the developmental dimension within that organization, uh, whether it's an in, whether it's a university, wherever it might be. Yeah.